I'm pretty sure that I've said um, it's likely we will lose. You're obviously a very experienced lawyer. You work with the GLP instructing experienced counsel. Would you ever use crowdfunded money going into litigation knowing that you were going to lose or thinking very likely you were going to lose because you want publicity, because you want to draw focus to a particular cause? Is there a separate aim? Um, so, um, you can't ever really know what the outcome of a case is going to be. You get advice from the best people. Um, and if you're sensible, you interrogate that advice and you do what they say, um, or at least you act on the basis of it. If, if the advice is 30% prospects of success, lawyers never say lower than 30, there's always that, that litigation risk, would you still go ahead thinking, we're going to go down in flames, probably, but so, it will help nonetheless? So, um, I, I promise you I'll answer, I'll, I'll answer the question. <laughs> um, but importantly, we could choose cases that we won. We could uh, fight nothing but winning cases. And that um, would have very, very little impact. It would be nice for my ego. Um, it would stop, uh, it would muzzle our critics who say we lose too much. Um, but it wouldn't achieve impact. And I'm not here for my ego. I'm here for the impact. Um, so. Absolutely, we take cases that are difficult. We do so knowingly. Um, sometimes we take cases that have a less than 50-50 prospect of succeeding um, because we think that um, the possibility of winning, that, that what winning will mean is really, really important, or we think that um, uh, people need this issue to be ventilated. The question you're putting to me is a slightly sharper version of the question that I've answered. The question you're putting to me is, is the law just a vehicle that you can ride um, for publicity? Well, there's a transparency question in there too, though, because you're crowdfunding. It would be ridiculous as a litigator to publicly say before the litigation, we reckon we're going to lose this. You're not going to say that to the other side. So you crowdfund, telling the crowd that you've got good prospects or it's worth funding. But privately, you know you might have poor prospects. Is there a, no. is there a transparency? No, 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 no. We, we, we don't do that. Um, we do, in our crowdfunders, sometimes say, this is a really difficult case. Um, and I'm pretty sure, I can't think of an example now, I'm pretty sure that I've said um, it's likely we will lose this case. And I actually, I disagree with you. Judges don't care what I say about our prospects. They don't, they're not persuaded to um, decide in my favour when I say we're going to win, and nor are they persuaded to decide in my opponent's favour if I say I'm going to lose. They ought to decide the case based on the arguments that are before them. But I do want to come back to your question. Um, uh, uh, we would not take a case um, that we did not think have had sensible prospects of succeeding. And you know, whether the number's 30 or whatever it is, I'm not going to take a case unless I think um, there is a realistic, a sensible prospect of the case succeeding. I will sometimes take cases, but we will sometimes take cases where those prospects are below 50, because I don't think that there's anything magical about um, a lawyer's assessment of the case falling on the right side of a coin toss. Thanks for watching that clip. If you'd like to see the full interview, just click here. Don't forget to subscribe and if you'd like to join us live in the newsroom, head to tortoisemedia.com forward slash book.